Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in this video, I'll show you how we can make a duty roster. Uh, this duty roster is very basic but very much useful. I have added the countdown system also that how much week off every employee got for this month. At this place, it will start counting. And if uh, anywhere that you can see week off and the week off day is in red color. So it is very easily uh, visible. So let's get started. I'll show you step by step. Maybe the video will be a little longer, but I request you stay with me. Uh, watch the video till the end. So I take a new sheet and now let's start making it. First, I'll uh, write here the name, then phone number. And then designation or department also can be add. So I'll add, let's add it. Designation and department. So this fourth basic things will be there in duty roster. I'll take more space for name and this two will be enough. I'll leave one column empty. Then here will be date and days. So now I have January 1st, 2023. I'll simply select from here and drag it to the right side. You can see below there is a count 10, 11, 12. That's how we go till 31. Okay, so till 31 done. Then uh, I just manage it. I'll select from the top. I'll select the entire data that we have and I decrease the size of it so that uh, I can make one month duty roster in this patch and that can be printable. Below the trick that we have to do equal select the cell and enter very simple and again, again I'll click go to the format cells and from there I'll add another D and I'll click OK. So doing so I'll have the date plus I have the day also. I'll drag it till 31st. Simply it's done. Now I'll just simply select and apply borders so that this can be visible. Apply some background color also like this one will be really good. OK, let's skip it. The similar way I select the name there will be some designs uh, as well as the background color okay so it is done now now i'll add some name like uh, staff name one and there will be phone number some dummy phone number designation one and department on department one now I'll simply select and drag it uh, for example you have 10 okay 10 or 15 16 employees I'll simply select and apply border from here just to make it look more beautiful and attractive I'll similar way I'll select this area till 31 and below and I'll apply border okay then I'll select again the same area and I'll apply a very simple trick. See this very carefully. Go to the conditional formatting, highlight cells rules and takes that content. From here, I'll only simply tap WO because uh, in duty roster, whenever you add the WO, that means weekly off. That cell will be red in color. Isn't it crazy? So I enter WO. It's in red on color, but if I... Change it to morning, it will be as usual black color. So I make the alignment center. So now I'll add the duty like morning for him, then evening, then again morning, then there will be night shift. So that's how then he has a week off. Okay. So that's how I will select it and drag it till 31st and then till below so for now i made a duty roster it has week off and shipped also at this place we can add a formula that will count how many week off every staff uh, got for this month so how we can do this we apply simply formula that called count if count if the 
countdown will be start and I'll select from G okay till 30 first okay. so G and then it will ask me to for criteria criteria will be week off because we are looking for weekly off I have applied this formula just to count just to check that how many week offs every employee got if someone got five then we have to increase like if I delete from here one so it will show me it is less than five not six as everyone supposed to get six offs then you can check from here also so for that purpose I have applied this formula so it is very cool I can simply select and apply borders at this place also and our duty roster is ready we can simply write here the duty roster my duty roster so and i'll select the entire area margin center and then alignment tops and center bold and i'll increase the size also so you can see uh so easy it is to make a duty roster and i have added the tracking system also like how many week off every employee got for this month but another challenge is there that you make a duty roster and then when you try to print it like if i simply click control p you will see my print not all the data is there in the list then how you can manage it simply go to the paste setup below at this place first you change the paste tape to landscape then click ok just see whether all the data is there it's still no only till nine uh, we have 31 till so second pay go to the paste setup and then click margin then keep left on right zero even top also increase or dec decrease little bit so still we have till 13 still we have to work on it another things that we can do is go to the paste setup again and as you can see at this place we have adjust is 100 percent we can decrease it till 80 still we have the same thing so another thing that we have to do is we have to increase the font size of these places okay so we can simply uh, decrease little bit of font size that's this much will work whenever you're making our due to that that is for one month it's very challenging for you or everyone to manage the page and even the things are not visible then it's very complicated so now i have selected it and i decrease the size by one then again i'm going to adjust it okay so still you can see this much we have to adjust so i'll do that so again i click ctrl p and from here we can adjust no problem so it is now will be 75 base done now you can see we can see 31st Okay, it is not done yet we click view and then we uncheck the grid lines so that you can see how beautiful our duty roster looks like and you can keep two three empty cells at this place just for emergency use so that if there will be any new employee you can simply add them at this place and the same formula can be copy also here see so you can share this duty roster online saving as pdf or simply you can just print it out uh, if you want to save it as PDF, go to the file, then save as. Then another will do will come. Then first you have to change the file type that will be PDF and you can write here duty roster. Test and simply save it. And the file is saved. I will show you how does our duty roster looks like friends if you don't have computer you cannot make this duty roster the link will be in the description box to download this duty roster and uh, if you think that this video video is useful for you don't forget to like the video because it will be really helpful for me so we're on desktop okay so maybe i didn't save it in desktop let me save it in desktop save it and okay desktop then pdf okay save it now it will show there it is 
so that's how you can make a duty roster for one month and uh, you can add a lot of employees in this duty roster like more than 50 60 it has a lot of spaces no issues about that already in my channel a lot of videos are available like how you can make uh, advanced duty roster or like everything is there advanced you can even operate or use those duty rosters from your smartphones also so if you want to watch those videos so visit my channel as you can see the duty roster looks like this and it's quite clear and visible and uh, this kind of duty rosters looks really cool in everywhere in offices kitchens and everywhere so thank you very much for watching this video if you think that you got a little bit of knowledge from a video don't uh, forget to like and subscribe my channel